Hello everyone, this is Daniel of fitnessblender.com. We have over 500 free workout videos on our channel and we put up a new workout every Monday morning. So make sure you hit the subscribe button below to get the newest workout when they come out. Now today we're going to be doing a particularly nasty form of hit, which is called a pyramid. So we're going to be starting with a relatively low time period and it's gonna be increasing and then we're gonna go right back down again. So this is gonna be uh, nice and difficult. But before we get started with that, we have to get our warm up done. So we'll be right back to start into that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. I'm gonna start my timer here. We're gonna be doing each one of these for roughly about uh, 25 seconds a piece. So let's go ahead and start off with our first one, which is going to be a side step and arm swing. So you're gonna go left and right, arms come across your chest. Make sure that every single time those arms cross, a different arm is on top. Just nice and slow. Nice, big, full, deep breaths. Try to get a little bit more range of motion through those arms with every single swing. You don't want to swing uncontrolled. You want to make sure that you could feel like you could stop at any moment. Do a slow butt kicker, so just bring that uh, heel up to your butt. Just nice and slow, alternating back and forth. As you start feeling more comfortable and you start feeling uh, more flexible through those thighs and those knees, you can start speeding it up if you want to. If not, just keep the motion nice and slow and walk through it. Moving on to a slow high knee next. So just a high knee march. The idea with this one is to get as much range of motion as possible. So really try to pick that knee up, minimum uh, knee to same height as your hip, but try to get higher than that if you can. Keep that torso perfectly straight up and down. Don't lean over into that leg. Just keep it going, keep those lungs open, speed it up as you want to. Do it alternating side bends, so feet just about shoulder width apart. Reach off to one side, and then same thing off to the other, trying to warm up that torso just a little bit, stretch out a little bit through the side of that chest, through that side of that torso. It's nice, slow, controlled motion. Keep those lungs open, try to get a little more range of motion each time. Doing a toe touch sweep, so you're going to go down across those toes, come up, a little bit of a back bend then back down across to the other side. Slow little bend, then back across. Limit that range of motion to whatever's comfortable for you, but try to get it a little bit more each time, keeping those legs relatively straight. All right, we're doing a lunging torso rotation. So you're going to lunge forward, rotate with that torso, come back up to the center. Lunge with that opposite side, rotate, Back up, just keep alternating each time. Rotate towards the leg you step forward with first. And let that relax, we're gonna be doing a squat pull, push pull, so squat down, push out, stand up, pull back. So keep those arms in nice and low, squeeze out, pull in. So as you go down, press, you come back up, Pull in, keep those lungs open. Only go as low on that squat as is comfortable for those knees and hips. Trying to get a little further each time. Now right, we're gonna do a leg swing toe touch. So starting off with just one leg at a time. Keep it under control. So every time you bring that leg in front, you're gonna try to reach down and touch that toe. If you can't get to it, that's fine. The idea is you're just trying to get down a little bit further with every single swing. Again, make sure that you're not swinging uncontrolled. You want to be able to stop at any moment. Same thing on the other side. Keep those lungs open. When you kick that leg back, kind of lean back just a little bit through your upper body, through that torso, or excuse me, through that chest. Get a little extra stretch through your abdominal muscles and hip flexor. Try to keep that leg as straight as you can. Right, relax, we're gonna go into a boxer shuffle, start warming up those feet just a little bit. Start really nice and light, don't really pick those feet up. And as we get more into it, try to get a little more aggressive with it, try to get a little bit of a bounce. Try to make sure those, uh, the arches of that feet and those toes get nice and warmed up. Also that ankle complex as well, because we're doing a lot of bouncing around. All right, front jack is next. So arms in front of your body, keep them nice and close. 
start with a relatively slow jumping jack motion. As you feel more comfortable, start speeding it up. We're switching to a traditional jumping jack, just four seconds. And traditional jumping jack, keep those arms nice and rigid, keep that shoulder nice and rigid. You don't want to do a bent elbow. You want those arms as straight as you can hold them. It's going to put a little more stress on that shoulder, so that's why I say keep that shoulder contracted. Speed up as you can. So our last warm-up exercise. And let it relax. Keep moving. We'll be right back and start into that first pyramid. Alright guys, we have two different pyramids to go through. Each one has different exercises. Each one is going to take us roughly about six minutes, a little over six minutes to get done. So let me go ahead and get my timer started for this first one. We are starting off with a squat jack for 10 seconds, as hard as you can. Each one's gonna go up by 10 seconds. All right, drop it down, get those feet moving. It's really nice and quick, only 10 seconds, so really push yourself. Almost done. And let it relax, you have a 15 second break between each one of these exercises. Use it as much as you can if you wanna get a little less rest, go to a box or shuffle. Do something even more intense if you want to. I suggest taking a break. All right, high knees are next. So really nice and quick. We're doing 20 seconds this time. Like I said, every single one of these exercises is gonna increase by 10 seconds. We're gonna go all the way up to 50, and then we're gonna work our way back down. I'm gonna lose my laces. And let it relax. Quick shoe tie here. Good thing I get a 15 second break. All right, next one is going to be pop squats. Remember, take as much rest as you need. So out, pop in the center. Just take your time. Go as fast or as slow as you want to. The faster you move, the more range of motion you go through, the harder it's going to be. So if you need to go a little lighter, then do a little less. If you want it really intense, move quick. All right, I was into that one. We're moving on to the next one, which is an alternating side lunge pop. So you're gonna alternate left and right on that side lunge. We're doing this one for 40 seconds. It's a little bit easier. Go down to the side, push off as hard as you can. Down the side, push off as hard as you can. So you're focusing on that really hard push to pop yourself back up each time. It's less about stepping out, more about that really hard shove back up to the center. So the goal is kind of actually try to push yourself over. We're almost done. All right, recover as best you can. We have burpees next. We're doing this for a full 50 seconds. So just get through it as much as you can. If you get tired and have to rest, try to rest for as short a time period as you can. Start again. All right, traditional burpees. You can do a jump at the top. If you want to be a little harder, skip the jump for a little easier. Try to keep that speed up. If you start getting tired, feel free to slow down, but try to keep it going as you can. We're already halfway through. About 10 seconds left. All right, recover. You got alternating side lunges again. We're trying to work our way back down. Repeating exercises now. Alternating side lunge pop. Start them up. Off to the side, pop it up. 
Off the other side. Pop it back up. Just keep going left and right. Hard as you can. Jumping or popping back up to that center position. Like I said before, the goal is almost to kind of push yourself over the opposite direction. About 14 seconds. Just keep pushing. Keep those lungs open. Don't hold your breath. All right, let it relax. Keep those feet moving. No resting. Doing pop squats next. Three seconds. All right, out to the side. Pop in the center. Remember, focusing on full range of motion. If you start to get too tired, feel free to limit. But the idea is to go as low as you can, flat back. Make sure you're not leaning forward, rounding that lower back. Almost done. Whew, let it relax, we've got high knees. Down to 20 seconds on this one. Just two more exercises. All right, focus on those high knees. Push them as hard as you can. Drive those knees up high. Try to get that knee higher than hip height. Try to move nice and quick. Whew, there goes my other shoe. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. All right, one exercise left. That's squat jack. Deep breath, keep those feet moving. Start them up. Go to that happy place. It's only 10 seconds. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Oh man. All right, that's a pretty good burn. But we're only halfway through this pyramid set. Take a real quick break. Grab a drink of water. We'll be right back to start in to that second pyramid with all the new exercises. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have one more pyramid to go through, and this one is unfortunately not any easier. In fact, it's probably even harder. So let's go ahead and get it done. It's only six minutes. Push through it as best you can. Start my timer. No turning back now. We're doing star jumps first, but only for 10 seconds. All right, get focused, get ready. Start them up. Nice big explosion at the top. Get those arms and legs out nice and wide. Back down into that squat at the bottom. Oh, that was nice and easy. Doing lizard hops next, so down on the ground, almost a plank position. Get ready. Pop it back and forth, staying nice and low. Only 20 seconds. Just walk those feet in and out one at a time if you're getting too tired. All right, back up. Keep those feet moving. Jumping lunges are next. This is not any easier. Full 30 seconds. All right, start them up. If you need to stop through this, go ahead and do so. Try to get as far as you can before you do though. Count to five in your head, start right back in. Try not to give yourself too much rest. We're already halfway through. Keep it going. Try to keep that weight evenly dispersed between front and rear leg. Oh, all right. Alternating runners, it's a little bit easier.
Deep breath. All right, here we go. One and switch. Whew. My legs are feeling pretty jelly, but try to focus on that form. If you want to do an easier version, it's just a step. Try to keep it fast. Lungs open. Ten seconds left. Woo. Oh, all right. Deep breath. We got one more. It's a full 50 seconds, and we're gonna start working our way back down. Sumo squat with a with a side kick. Just alternating that kick each time. Down in the center, up, out to the side. Down in the center, up and out to the side. Keep your torso straight up and down, especially as you kick that leg out. Keep those lungs open. Move slowly, under control. Try to recover with this one. It's a little bit slower. So focus on big, full, deep breaths. Try to get a little bit more oxygen into your system to help you out with that descending part of this pyramid. Keep it going. That leg can be slightly bent. Don't worry about trying to keep it perfectly straight. More, you're trying to keep that leg up nice and high. All right, deep breath. Back to alternating runner. 40 seconds on this one. <clears throat> Start up. Nice quick knee motion, extend it back, then pop those feet, switching them up. Do the same thing on the other side. Nice quick motion, pump those arms along with those legs, keeping that core tight, keeping that upper body tight. Just keep pushing through it. A little over halfway. Full deep breaths. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. Almost done. Oh. All right, keep moving. No stopping, no dropping down on those knees. Ooh, jumping lunges next. 30 seconds of this one. Go to that happy place. Go as long as you can before you take a break. Try to always get through the whole thing without stopping. Even if you have to severely limit your range or your speed, try to keep moving. Lungs open. Oh, we're almost done. Keep pushing it. Don't stop now. Four seconds. All right, lizard hops and star jumps left. Lizard hops for only 20 seconds. Start up. Just push yourself as hard as you can. One more exercise. That's it until we do our cool down. Keep those feet moving. Star jumps are last. Only 10 seconds. Come on guys, you can do this. Focus, go to that happy place, get it done. Whew. Oh, those legs and arms are not wanting to cooperate. Gotta push through it. Oh man. Whew. I hope you are as beat as I am. That was a rough one. If you're not tired, next time you go through this, push yourself harder, move faster, move with more range of motion. And I guarantee you, you're gonna be tired. All right, guys, we have our cool down left. We'll be right back to start into that. Grab a drink of water. Whew. All right, 
Let's go ahead and get started with that cool down. So the last thing we have to do, doing each one of these for about 30 seconds a piece. We're starting off with a regular toe touch, starting with your back flat. Feet just about shoulder width apart. You can go straight down as, as far as you can without rounding your back. Hold it there. If you want to put your hands on your thighs, that's perfectly fine. Keep those legs as straight as you can. Nice and slow. Start rounding those shoulders over. Stretching down towards those toes. Keep those legs straight. Stand back up. Doing a quad stretch next, so pull one foot back towards your butt. So heel towards your butt, as close as it's comfortable. Pull that thigh back behind you, keep your torso straight up and down. You should feel it in the front of your quad, front of your thigh, and the front of your hip flexor. Ooh. Try to keep that balance. If you need to, grab a hold of the back of a chair or on the counter, back of a couch, whatever you need to to help keep yourself up straight. If you can, do it without anything. Make yourself have to ch uh, challenge yourself a little bit. Make yourself have to work for it. Same thing on the other side. Switch that leg, heel to butt, as close as is comfortable. Don't over compress that knee. And then push that leg back behind you. It's more important that you get your leg behind you than it is you squeeze your heel to your butt. So don't over squeeze that heel to that butt. You don't want to stress out your knee too much. You just want it tight enough. You can feel that quadricep stretching a little bit. All right, inside thigh stretch, feet nice and wide. Bend one knee, drop down towards that straight leg, hand over top of your head, stretch it across. Just hold it. Nice full deep breaths, try to get more oxygen back into your system. Same thing on the other side, so bend that opposite knee, straight over top of that head with that arm. Should be feeling that stretch of the inside of that thigh as well as the outside of that torso. Stretch into as far as is comfortable, trying to push that hip down towards the ground. You're not trying to really lunge into it, you don't need to do a real deep lunge. You're just trying to tilt those hips down towards that straight leg and then you're going to feel that inside thigh. Let it relax. We're doing a down dog. So feet just about shoulder width apart. Walk out. Make about a little bit of a triangle with your body. So bend those knees a little bit if you need to. If you're a little tight, push that head down between those arms and then nice and slow. Try to start straightening those legs out. Lift those heels a little bit if you need to. And then start pushing those heels back down towards the ground as you limber up. And let it relax. We're going to drop down onto those knees. Whew, lay all the way out flat. Arch up into a cobra. As high as it's comfortable. If that back won't quite let you get there, keep those elbows bent. Otherwise, lock those arms out almost all the way. Keep a little bit soft. You never want to completely lock out that joint. Push those shoulders down away from you. Tilt that head back a little bit. Pull those shoulders back behind you. Open up that chest. Stretch that stomach. Flex that back. All right, back into a shell stretch. So pull those knees up underneath you. Sit back onto those heels. Start with those arms out straight in front. Slowly pull those hands in. That sides of those knees. Press in with those palm, the palm of your hand towards the ground. Round that back up to really stretch that lower back. Hold it, just breathe normal. That relax. All right, switch over onto your back. One leg up over top of the other. Grab behind that thigh, not in front of your shin, but behind that thigh. Pull in as close as comfortable. You're going to feel it in the leg you have crossed over top. So this leg over top, you're going to feel it in that glute, that butt muscle. Just pull it in as close as is comfortable. Try to let everything else relax. Just breathe normally. And switch sides. Same thing on the other side, cross that leg over top, grab behind that thigh, not on that shin, pull it in nice and close, just until you feel that stretch through that glute muscle. This is a really, really good stretch if you happen to have 
uh, like sciatica problems and stuff like that. It's usually that piriformis muscle that pinches on that nerve bundle that makes that back hurt. So this is a good stretch to stretch out that piriformis. All right, pull it in and let it relax. Oh, all right, guys. Whew, I hope you enjoyed that workout as much as I did. If you have a little bit more time, feel free to do something else if you want to. Just make sure it's relatively low key, no more hit. This one should have taken out uh, all of your uh, overall balance and control. You should be tired enough that you're starting to lose a little bit of control, starting to feel a little jelly. So anything you do from here on out should be nice, slow, controlled motions. No big uh, plyometric jumping motions, uh, dynamic motions, that kind of thing. So, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time this workout is complete.